Hello and welcome to this Themeify screencast. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get quick started with your new Themeify theme. So the first thing we're going to do is the installation of the theme. This is really simple to do. All you need to do is click Appearance and then Install Themes and then Upload. And then all we need to do now is select the zipped file you were given when you purchased the theme. So just click Choose File, navigate to where you downloaded the zip file and then double click on it and then just press install now. You don't need to unzip it or do anything. WordPress will do everything for you with the zipped file. And then once that's uploaded, you just need to click on activate and you're now running your new Themeify theme. So now you've got your theme installed, you need to get your theme set up. If you've got a new installation of WordPress and want to set up your theme like it was in the demo, you can import the sample content that was in the demo. Again, doing this is really easy. All you need to do is hover over tools and press import and then click on WordPress because we're installing WordPress content and install the plugin that we need to import the content and just press activate. Now, before we go any further, you need to unzip the zip file you got when you downloaded the theme, which we just used to install the theme. So I'm using the basic theme. So I'm just going to right click and click extract all and then extract the file here. And then Windows will then unzip it. If you're on a Mac, it's a similar process. And once that's unzipped, you'll see you have a folder with the name of your theme. In this case, I'm using the basic theme. And just navigate into those and you'll see halfway down sample-content.xml. That's the sample content file we're going to be using to import the sample content. So now if you just go back into WordPress, you just need to import the sample content file and upload and import it and WordPress will do it all for you. So we do that by clicking choose file and then just navigate to where you unzipped your theme. In my case, it's come up and I just need to click sample content, double click, upload file and import. WordPress will then ask you if you want to assign your post to an existing user, so you probably want to do that, so just assign them to your user. And you also want to download and import file attachments because those are the images that were in the demo. And now if you go to your site's homepage, you'll see that you have all of the sample content that was there when you bought the theme. And we can use this to make sure your site gets properly set up. So the next thing we're going to look at is the options panel. If you just go back into your WordPress dashboard and then click on basic or whatever theme you're using, you'll see you're now taken to the Themeify options panel and it's here that you can customize a load of stuff within your theme without doing any coding at all. So I'm just going to run you through some of the options that you're most likely to be using. You can take a look at all of these as and when you need them, but we're just going to run you through some of the most common ones now. So you start off in the general settings page. Here you have an option to upload your custom favicon. A favicon, favicon is that little icon you see next to the title of your page. Like here, this one is the one for wordpress.org and you can upload your own favicon here using this uploader. If you're using a service like Feedburner for your RSS feed, you can add the URL here. And you also have options to add code to the header and footer, which can be useful if you're using a tracking code such as Google Analytics. And at the bottom of the page, you also have settings to include or exclude categories and pages, as well as images from your search and RSS feeds. And those are your general settings. So if we go back to the top and then click on the next tab, default layouts. Here you have one click options to change the layout of your theme, which are really handy for getting into some customization. So the default index layout is for things like your homepage and various archives, be those category archives, searches or tag pages and so on. And then you just have a load of different options which really allow you to customize your theme. For example, you can set where to display your sidebar. If I go to my site at the moment, you'll see it's on the right. And if I just click left and save and then refresh my homepage, is it's automatically moved to the left or you can choose not to display it at all. And you have a load of different options here which really allow you to get into customizing your theme just by selecting the option you want and pressing save. So for example, I could have no sidebar at all and I could go for this grid format. If I then press save and then refresh my theme, you'll see that's updated automatically. And now I have this grid format on my homepage. You can also show how much of your posts display on your homepage. So I could go for the excerpt, save, refresh, and you'll see that's automatically changed. That's automatically changed so I only have a short bit of my post displaying on my homepage. And you've got a load of different options here which really allow you to customize your theme. For example, you can include or exclude a load of categories from your homepage, change the text that displays at the end of your excerpt, 
hide post titles, unlink post titles, hide post meta, hide post date. So for example, if I was using the theme as a gallery, I might want to not show any content and then unlink my post title and hide the post meta and the post date. And then just press save and refresh the theme. And now you'll see I've only got images and titles, which would be great if you're using the theme for a gallery or portfolio or the like. So you can just use these options to set up the theme for whatever you want and whatever your needs are. And if we just scroll down a bit further, you'll see you have a load of options for images. For example, you could automatically grab the first image from your post if you don't have a featured image set, or you could hide the featured image, unlink the featured image, or just set the size in your images in pixels. So for example, I might want to make my images the same width, but make them slightly taller. So I'll just set 306 by 300 pixels, press save and refresh. And you'll see I now have slightly bigger thumbnails. And then if you scroll down even further, you can use these same options for posts and pages. So in posts, I can again select where to have the sidebar on the right, left or not at all, whether to hide the title, whether to link the title, have the post meta, the date, the featured image, and the same options there. You can also select whether to show the post comments and author box. So just for an example, I'll disable comments by ticking that box, go up to the top, press save, and refresh a post and you'll see there are now no comments displaying there so that's really helpful so again you can just play around with these options and use them as you want to and right at the bottom of the page you have the same options but for pages so you can have the sidebar on the right left or not at all show or hide the title and disable or enable comments and those are your general settings and those are the default layout options available to you in your themeify theme you can really play around with these to make your site really customized and really one that's your own. And so we're just going to move on to some of the other settings you've got available to you. If you click on theme settings, then here you have a number of options available to you, including turning off the RSS icon button, turning off the search form, setting how to have your widget set up in your footer, and what text to display in your footer. For example, I might want to have copyright themeify 2012 and now I just press save all and if I refresh any page on my site and scroll right to the bottom then you'll see it says copyright themeify 2012 and you have this second box here for displaying the text that displays below the first box so for example I might want to say powered by WordPress save all refresh and you'll see it now says copyright themeify 2012 powered by WordPress and the final option in the general settings is the image script. This allows you to choose which image script you use to generate the thumbnails around your website. So you can either use this custom image.php script for cropping your images or the built-in WordPress image cropping script. And so if I'm using the image.php script, so here you can set things like the image quality and get a real trade-off between high quality images and loading speed. You can also set how to crop your images and whether they have vertical cropping on and off. So for example, I might want to go for 80 image quality, crop my images in the center and turn off vertical cropping. If I then save and refresh, then you'll see because I have vertical cropping off, the images are displayed at their natural aspect ratio rather than a cropped one. And this can be really handy. And so if we go back to the options page, you can also set whether to turn off the image.php script and use WordPress built-in cropping script, which might be something you want to do if say your host has trouble supporting the script. And so that's just a quick run through the different settings available to you in your Themeify theme. If you check out the next screencast, I'll show you how to use the styling, skins and transfer settings. But hopefully that's got you started with your Themeify theme. But hopefully that's given you a really good groundwork to get started customising your Themeify theme.